Hi everyone, Eleanor here and welcome to the Hobby King Weekly Wrap. In this episode we're going to go through new items, announce the winner of the weekly competition and see what is happening in the RC community. Let's get into it. First up we have the new items of the week. We had a Tamiya 110 scale Land Rover Defender 90 assembly kit, a 3 Racing M4 Sakura Sport M Class Touring Car chassis kit, an orange RX TX10i 10 channel radio which comes in either a mode 1 or a mode 2. And our major release for this week was the 1200mm Avios MiG-17 Fresco 90mm EDF jet. If you haven't seen the product video for it yet, here is some of it now. Weekly competition time. We are currently running Crash Cash where all you have to do is send us a photo or video of something I see that you have crashed. This week's highlights were Riley from the UK who snapped into multiple pieces. The snapping. Lacombe from France who hit the dirt hard. Stuart from the UK who collided with another. And our winner was Scott from the US who's going to need to find a new home for his electronics because his plane is well and truly wrecked. Congratulations Scott and $50 is on its way to you. To enter, share your pictures or video via social with the hashtag CrashCash. Or enter via the Hobby King website entry page, links are below. If you don't win but your entry does appear in the weekly wrap, you'll be rewarded with $10 in store credit. Okay, community projects. Let's take a trip around the world and see what is happening in the RC community. Ahmad FPV Freestyle from the US captured some amazing drone freestyle footage in and around an empty multi-story car park. Some incredible moves there Ahmad and very, very smooth. Also out there with their drone was One Glove TV from Indonesia who got in and around, up close and personal, with motorcycles racing around the central international karting circuit in Indonesia. Great skill needed not only to keep up but also to avoid hitting the riders, so well done One Glove TV. Ivan from Spain had some fun modifying his RC car to drive upside down on the ceiling with the help of a custom made propeller rig. Didn't end up travelling for long or for a great distance but nonetheless it did in fact drive upside down on the ceiling. I need to wear ear protection for that. David from the US shared a video of his buddy Norm who quote went crazy and decided to fly his plane not over water but in water. Some great flying there with dipping the tail, but of course it was testing fate and destined not to end well. <laughs> Thanks for sharing David, a very entertaining watch. Eric from Taiwan repainted his F-16 with a Thunderbird colour scheme. The blue and red on the nose and wingtips were done using custom cut vinyl. Always great to see customised paint jobs with you guys taking charge of what you love. And Chris from the US shared some pics and a short video of his son flying his Durafly BF109E which had a pan until FPV setup. An amazing view from the cockpit and always good to see the kids of the younger generation getting into RC. To contribute visit the Hobby King community page on Facebook or email us at weeklywrap at hobbyking.com or simply tag your recent pictures or video on social with the hashtag HKWeeklyWrap and we will find it. Remember my friends, if you happen to feature anywhere on the Weekly Wrap, you'll be rewarded with $10 in store credit. Okay, before I wrap up, I just want to say a quick shout out to everyone who attended HK Live Netherlands last weekend. It was a very special event as it marked our fifth year anniversary at EMCR Rosenberg. A ton of flying took place over the weekend with models of all shapes and sizes, from scale warbirds to jets to scratch built custom creations. There was a helicopter demonstration, a drone demonstration by the fire department's drone team, a pop-up shop, a much anticipated candy drop which was entertaining for both adults and kids, and not to mention the launch of the Avios MiG-17 and a tease for the soon to be released H-King Flycat. Thank you to Tom and the organizers and once again to everyone who attended. And also thank you to Mathis and Jan for the amazing photos. So that is it for this week. I will see you guys next week. Bye.